an early morning hike into the high mountain pastures of Rafayan in central Switzerland, where the intrepid students are going to make hay today, even though it's not particularly sunny. We carried all the tools up to the pastures, for instance the scythes. These are sharpened the night before. The metal blades are hammered to make them very thin and sharp. We say in German they are gedenkelet. The work on the steep grassy slopes is treacherous, so it's traditional for farmers to wear crampons or nailed boots to improve their grip. They also take rakes and shields for their flints, used to sharpen the scythes, and the scythes themselves, of course. These have to be checked for alignments before the haymakers set off. It's not exactly easy. Experienced farmers do it from when they're little kids, but when you do it for the first time, you make a lot of mistakes. You get stuck, the grass doesn't cut properly, and you can't really master the technique in one single day. But we were still able to do something. We did cut a bit. I love the mountains and I'm interested in alpine farming. That's why I came on the course. We just had to get stuck in straight away. Scythe in hand and off we went. It was super. I love it. Once you get used to the moves, it's no problem. I think for us Swiss, it's important that we look after the countryside and mountain regions. Otherwise, everything will become completely overgrown. As a botanist, I come and uh, look at this, the, the land that the farmers want to start using as uh, they, they want to make this wiltoy, and I'm the person that has to decide if the quality is good enough, if there are enough plants. So I've got, in, in shortest time, I find six different plants that uh, tell me this is uh, the real type of meadow that we, we want to keep. Switzerland is one of the few alpine countries in which haymaking continues on steep mountain slopes. This is partly because farmers who do it receive subsidies. Nearly 100 farmers gather their own hay in Canton Uri. After all the hard work, a well-earned lunch. Then it's back to raking up the cut grass. It's tied into nets called pinkles, and the heavy loads are carried on the farmers' backs. <laughs> Course teacher and farmer Carrie Giesler shows how it's done. The hay now has to be sent to the Giesle farm, 1.2 kilometers across the valley. And away they go. Extra winter fodder for the Giesler's 20 cattle for the winter. A job well done, with a little help from their friends.